Hello to all my friends out there. So I want to make myself a, oh, a tasty uh, breakfast sandwich. And what I have here is some uh, bacon ends. And one of the followers asked me, what are bacon ends? Well, you can buy them and they're bacon pieces. What I usually do is I take the, the bacony part out and then I can use the fatty part for, um, for like some beans or if I need some kind of meat fat. So um, here's one thing, you know, I like to uh, stockpile. So um, I want to make a, a tasty little breakfast sandwich to go with my potato soup. So, you know, when I was making the potato soup, the idea was learn recipes so that if hard times hit, you can make a lot of food. And, you know, maybe someone in the family or the friends or somebody needs some food and, you know, you won't have to turn someone away hungry. So in the Bible, this is the most baffling story, one of them. There's the 10 wise virgins and there's the 10 um, foolish virgins. And the foolish virgins did not prepare any oil for their lamps. And they say to the, the wise virgins, give us some oil for our lamps. And the, the wise virgins say no. And the, the foolish virgins are left. And the wise virgins go to uh, meet the bridegroom, right? But I can never understand this parable because why can't one wise virgin and one foolish virgin share the light? That is very bad, baffling to me. If any of you have any insight into this parable, let me know. Okay, so here is my tasty... Um, potato soup this could be any vegetables and I just sauteed my vegetables in a little oil and um, a little um, butter and then I put chicken bouillon two cups because it was a small batch but this could be a large batch and I have a few chives and I just I brought it up to a boil and then I turned it down. So this is a lot of soup. And this is why I was thinking about the wise virgins. The selfish wise virgins. <laughs> I will never get that, that parable, I don't think. Uh, well, those foolish virgins didn't deserve to meet the bridegroom. Well, who'd want to meet a bridegroom like that anyway? Where was he at the time you needed him? <laughs> I, I, I will never get that. I, I don't get it. Okay, and so I have, just happen to have a little piece of cheese. So you guys, this is a dirt cheap meal. I don't want my, my followers, first of all, if things get really, really bad and you have to rely on God, I don't think that's a good time to be selfish. I think that's a good time to uh, share. <laughs> as much as you can well we're all gonna we're all gonna starve well maybe we better uh, rely on god's supernatural provision at a time like that you know what i mean i'm looking for my salsa and looking for stuff in this refrigerator is if you don't do it in advance is that gonna happen okay you're just gonna have to take my word for it that some salsa is gonna end up on these eggs See how my eggs are puffy with the milk? And then here's my English muffin. And I try to buy them 50% off. So English muffins are pretty cheap. Yummy. Let's see. This is a cheap meal. There you have it. A tasty breakfast bacon, egg and cheese breakfast sandwich and some tasty potato soup.
there's enough potato soup and breakfast sandwiches for two people. <laughs> Please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.